Okay, this is a new challenge. I apologize for the last challenge. Oops, I apologize for that too. Um, last challenge I did was a hypercar challenge. Not hypercar, but ultra car challenge. And that was seemed to be like it was too difficult for the people who was wanting to enter. I mean, I've done it twice in two different body styles, but maybe that's the only two body styles you can do it in because uh, the problem I noticed with one person's car was they didn't choose a car with a big enough engine bay to fit a big enough engine in it without producing any warning lights saying the engine bay is quite full or getting quite full and uh, need a pretty good sizable engine to get you know 2,000 horsepower or more to get up to 300 miles per hour so it's that was kind of a tough challenge I'm kind of suspending that challenge for now um, I haven't quit that challenge, but it's uh, kind of suspended now. This is the challenge I want to be focused on now. Is um, the thing of it is, I'm going to pretend that my daughter is 18 years old and just came out of high school, just graduated, and because she's such a good daughter and everything, and uh, I'm proud of her, I love her so much that I'm going to buy her a car. Now, set the production up year to 2019 and uh, it has to be four wheel drive or all wheel drive can't be front wheel drive or rear wheel drive because I live in West Virginia because and there's a lot of snow and so it has to be safe reliable uh, economical and uh, has to do 0 to 62 and just 10 seconds or under. Let me write that rule down. Um, so, and the thing of it is, is when the challenge is over and everybody sent their cars in, I'm going to be looking at them and uh, I'm going to be picking the one that I would buy for my daughter. Um, you know, if you want to do a high horsepower car, you can. Maybe, you know, economy ain't, isn't that important. But uh, I'll, I'll take them to a racetrack and maybe they won't win the overall award, but, you know, you can win the, you know, fastest lap time around something, you know. So basically build it any way you want to, but, you know, try to make it, you know, safe, reliable, and, you know, economical if you can. Power's not that important, and, but just enough power to get to at least 90 miles per hour and, you know, 0 to 62 and, you know, under 10 seconds or, or 10 seconds and it has to be under $30,000 or 30000 or under in dollars, you know. No engine spread, no engine stress, no warning lights. So that's this little thing over here. Well, actually, it'll be further to the right a little bit. Which means no red, yellow, or blue warning lights. And I'm just going to throw a car together, not designing it, not actually really building it. But like I said, it's the production year 2019. And I'm just going to pick the first option I see right here. Make anything you want to make. Make any engine position you want. Make any vehicle you, you want. I mean, sedan, wagon, hatchback, coupe. SUV, utility, which is, you know, a pickup truck, a, a minivan, a van, a convertible, anything you want to. Here, you're making a a car that I will, I'm going to the dealership and I'm going to buy one for my daughter. And I'm just throwing some things on here. Anything you want, just make sure it stays under, you know, Thirty thousand um, dollars. Yeah, just anything you want to. I'm just clicking the first option to everything here. Any quality you want, just like I said, just pay attention to your price. Uh, just, uh, any kind of engine you want, any kind of internals, I believe. Any size you want, just make sure you don't produce a warning light that says engine base quite full. Yeah, just kind of going this 
You can use turbochargers if you want to, or naturally aspirated engines. Okay, here we go. Fuel. Do not use ultimate fuel. Use super. Mine's an AKI, so numbers are going to be different, but the names of them are still the same. Use either regular, premium, or super. Do not use lead it. Do not use low quality. Do not use ultimate. So regular, premium, or super. Uh, yeah. Um, strange. I thought I clicked that. Oh, I didn't choose a fuel, did I? Yeah, any kind of. Oh, uh, at least a high flow three way to cut down on emissions. And at least one muffler. So let me write that down high flow three way. And one muffler, at least. Uh, this is a knocking button. Like I said, I'm not doing anything. I'm not really actually building this car. I'll tell you what I will be doing, though is I will be adding up all the the points, the safety, reliability. Uh, well, I'll tell you about it in a little bit. Uh, any color you want. But, you know, I think my daughter's a classic girl. She's just three years old. I think she's a classic girl, maybe a classic color. You know, or, uh, or princess color. She's my little princess, so make a little princess color if you want to. Any color you want. Uh, like I said, all-wheel drive or four-wheel drive. Any transmission you want, just keep it under 30,000. Or, you know, 30, 30, 30 or under. Um, yeah. uh, no open differentials. But anything below you can use from manual, automatic, geared, viscosious, and uh, electric LSD. Mm. Radio tires. Uh, do not use semi slicks because they produce a uh, blue warning light. So, any of these other four tires you can use. Um, any kind of rim material. Any kind of brakes, just keep it under, you know, $30,000. No brake fade, that's another one. Hold on. No brake fade. That means no sportiness, utility, and whatever that other one is. No brake fade. 0, 0.0 is what I want. Uh, any kind of under tray you want. You can use cooling flaps if you want to. Cooling airflow, at least 50. I'm going to write this down. I don't care about brake airflow. You can leave it at zero if you want to. Uh, what to do about the seats here? You know, at least two, I know that for sure. Yeah, at least two. And as many as, many as you want to. Um, go for standard or above on the interior. Go for basic infotainment on up. Don't use basic on the interior. Don't use in, none on the entertainment. 
nobody really makes a car like it anymore unless it's a race car. Yes, uh, at least hydraulic steering, power steering. Um, at least ABS, I believe it's more safer used uh, ESC. Mine needs to give me an option because I'm not using new engine parts, you know. But yeah, ESC is better. Uh, you don't need launch control unless you're <laughs> unless you're somebody like Cookie Monster who puts uh, two thousand horsepower in a, in a safe vehicle, and <laughs> then yeah, she would need launch control. Then anything over four hundred horsepower put in a launch control with the ESC, I think it's just safer if you go advanced tens. But at least basic two thousands and safety. Remember, you're trying to build a safe, you know. Every reliable vehicle, uh, just anything you want to in the suspension, just make sure no warning lights, and blah, blah, blah. And as you can see, I got a mountain full of warning lights, but that's up to, up to you to sort all that out where there's no warning lights. Uh, well, yeah, I've built this car for under $10,000, but the price don't matter. Like I said, I'll pay up to thirty thousand dollars for a safe reliable vehicle for my daughter oh like i said i was going to be adding up um uh safety reliability oh that's not reliability that's safety reliability oh shoot i don't know what i'm gonna be adding up maybe performance too I mean, sportiness. Mm. I know at least safety and uh, reliability will be adding up. So yeah, build my daughter a safe and reliable vehicle. You know, under thirty thousand dollars with no warning lights, no engine stress. I will drive a four by four. At least 90 miles per hour top speed. 0 to 62 in 10 seconds or under. Make sure it stops well. Oh, where's that? Brakes? Yeah, uh, no drivability, sportiness, or utility brake fade. Yes. 62 to 0 and 348.7 feet. That's not a good stopping distance. And you're supposed to keep it safe. And so, you know, good stopping distance. So, yeah, I think, I think that's about it. And this is, the deadline for this is going to be, hmm, uh, it's Tuesday right now. Let's make it Monday morning. Yeah, Monday morning, uh, 6 o'clock, West Virginia time. That's the deadline. So less than a week, but it shouldn't be that hard to make a vehicle like this. It's much easier than trying to make one that goes 300 miles per hour. Alrighty, well, thank you.